What's up, YouTube? This is the Big Face Trucker coming at you. As you see, I'm back in the truck. It's day two. Uh, got me a nice load coming up to uh, another 200 miles up to Galpins, South Carolina, and then I'm headed back to Kennesaw, Georgia. Rates are good up here, you know, rate, rates are good right now, so, I gotta, I gotta run, I've been home for like two weeks, I've been dealing with IRP, um, going back and forth with emails, because they're saying that in the truck portal, you can do everything in the truck portal, add trucks and everything, But that wasn't the case. All I was trying to do is get Snyder Finance off the title. And uh, that became a big problem for a whole week. Uh, for those who are in Georgia, uh, I feel for you. If you go in there and you can do it, more power to you. I couldn't figure it out. I had to call them, I had to send emails, they had to direct me how to do it, they had to do some stuff on their end. So, I got it done. So I'm out. Uh, caught me a nice load. Going up, dealing with convoy, um, I don't have to deal with brokers. I haven't called a broker in a long time. I've been dealing with Convoy, and when I deal with Convoy, I bid high, real high. Uh, if you know what's the availability of trucks in your area, and you see that it's not that many trucks, bid high, bid extra high. You never know, it might go in. And I put in about at least uh, 20 to 30 loads throughout the whole week and bid high on them and I basically got two high loads 200 miles 900 900 miles not me mean 900 dollars but 200 miles so that's what's been going on but uh I really I really wanted to make a, make a video a, a real quick video and I'm hearing about these guys that's really uh, bragging about their, saying how good their factoring company is. And uh, I just wanted to touch bases on it. Um, your factoring company, all right? And, 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 and don't get me wrong, all right? Don't get me wrong. I, I tell people that I'm with Thunder Funding. All right, and I'm telling you the reason why I'm with Thunder Funding. All right, it's because first of all, they're on point. All right, everybody makes mistakes, small mistakes. All right, I get paid sometimes the same day, but definitely the next day, or at the end of the day. All right. Money's on the fuel card, transfer my money from the fuel card to the bank account when I'm ready, all right? Um, the tool that I use to send in my invoice, all right, it never gave me no problem. It never told me that I never sent the invoice. It lets you know that had sent the invoice in it, all right, to them, all right? I use trucking office, all right? Trucking office hasn't let me down. Have my own authority a year and probably like six months. No, a year and eight months, all right? Not one time that a broker never paid me. 
Now I'm gonna say that one more time, right? Not one time since I had my authority that a broker never paid me. And the reason why is because if you have a factoring company, all right, and you factor loads, and if a broker doesn't pay, all right, the factoring company will go after that money for you. If you have a good factoring company, all right? Second thing, if you have a good factoring company, you see a load, you got doubts on the load, call your factoring company, your factoring company should look it up and say, hey, these people pay in 30 days. These people pay in 60 days. These people pay in 90 days. These people don't pay at all. They've been having problems. Now, if you can't do that with your factoring company, all right, you don't need to be with them. All right? So when you hear some people on here bragging about their factoring company or how good their factoring company, and then when they start saying that they ain't getting paid for their loads, all right, that should throw up a red flag with that factory company, all right? They're not telling you the truth about it. And I'm telling you the truth. You know my channel's all about the truth. You know that I don't get up here and falsify no bullshit, all right? Cats be trying to get paid. They try to get money, they try to deliver a body just to get up a little more money. Is that the game that we using out here? Or is it the game that we help each other, all right, without trying to get a dollar so somebody can go down the path of being a trucker without the headache? Because there's plenty of roadblocks out, roadblocks out here that will make you want to just throw your damn CDLs in the garbage. And when you build a channel, all right, when you build a channel and you start talking bullshit and people are rah-rah with you, you got 20, 30,000, you know, subscribers and shit, everybody, that's a lot of people listening to you. And you start going with the bullshit because you know what? People are easy to follow the bullshit instead of the truth. For real, for real, that is real, that's real, all right? You tell somebody, like, they, you, you know, you ever heard, like, the truth is the light of life, and the light of life will shine on, on those who misunderstand? Well, that's what's up, all right? So, I, like I said, and this is, this is what I'm telling you, like I said, and I always said this, I don't use YouTube to make no money, all right? I use YouTube to reach out to drivers that actually got out here on faith like I did. All right? I've been in trucking probably like five and a half, half month, five, five, five and a half years. All right? And um, my story is very unique. Uh, not too many people has done the stuff I did and I'm not bragging on it it's just because I had good mentor all right I read I got a good instincts of uh, bullshit versus real um, like when you get in this truck and you, you you listen to these guys on these YouTube channels all right some of them got uh, entertainment for their channel. You can't get the entertainment and put out here in trucking. You got to find somebody that's gonna tell you how trucking is, what to expect in trucking, and listen, observe. All right, plenty, plenty of guys are on here, and they're just yapping and yapping and dropping all kind of fucking rocks instead of dropping jewels. So, this is what upsets me because 
I checked out OTR as a as a factory company. All right. Triumph, forget about it. All right. I checked these guys out, and you know what? How I did? You know how I did it? I sent their information over to the opposite person and let them go at it and let them see how they're going to make their uh, factory company better than than the other. All right. And I just listened to them, sales guys, all right, sales guys. I sent, I sent the information over to Scott, Scott Kennedy with Thunder Funding. And he shot it to me straight, all right? He said, man, that guy over at OTR, he's a good salesman, all right? You shot it to me. OTR was was close. Was close. Was close. But they didn't get me. They didn't get me because, you know, I like the way I didn't experience how they how they answer the phone, when they answer the phone, how do people treat me over there. I already experienced Thunder Funding. So I like the way they answer the phone. I, you know, it's just... It's niceness. You know what I'm saying? It's niceness. And if you have a problem, they either call you, email you, all right? And you solve your problem. So I can imagine what these these guys, are, uh, these sales guys with these other companies talk about how they try to get you over there and then lock you in. Lock you in. You can't get out. All right? And, and OTR, I'm telling you, OTR was bad. He said, man, if you want to come over here, we'll pay your factory company whatever money that you got to, we'll pay that and bring it over to us. Now, that, that right there, I was like, nah, that don't sound right right there. Sound like I was going in debt or something. I couldn't figure it out. But I was not touching that move right there. But I know some guys that probably fell for it. I probably did, there's some guys out there that would fall for it. Because don't let the 2.5% grab you. All right? Because down the line, this is the same shit that was going on at, at uh, Travel Loco. That same shit that was going on over there. Oh, you can get 80, 85%, 86%, all right? But down the line, all right, there's some other bullshit that's going to chop you up. And next thing you know, you're paying 4 you, you know what I'm saying, 4%. I'm shooting it to you straight. Straight up, straight up. You want a factory company, all right? You want a factory company, call Thunder Funding. Don't use my name. Don't use my name. I don't want nothing, nothing, a uh, referral or nothing. Don't use my name. If you're getting out here, you don't want the headache. You're getting your own authority. You rather, I rather for somebody to listen to me, all right, and say, hey, I'm going to give him a shot. Call Scott Kennedy. Uh, there's another, I don't know his last name. If you talk to Will, call Thunder Funding. Talk to him. That's all. You ain't got to sign up or nothing. Talk to them. All right? They, uh, If you got any questions about a factory company, they will school you on a factory company. You don't have to sign up with them. They'll talk to you. Just They'll give it to you straight how they are out there and how they are. You know, how, how Thunder Funding is, how the other ones are. Because they know they, 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 they get guys jumping here and everywhere. And they're coming over and they're coming over. So what, you know, what they do, they try to tweak their companies and try to make them better and better than the other person. Look, that's all I wanted to say. All right? That's all I wanted to say. Because I had no problem getting paid from a broker. I have no problem. Nothing like that. I would not like to be out here pulling loads and not get paid, and not get paid. You just spent your gas, your time, and everything to drop this load, 
and not get paid. All right? That's just not fair, trucking. That's not fair to send somebody else down in, into a situation like that. All right? It's just not fair. All right? And I'm new to the game, but somehow I've been walking a, 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 a great path to the east. I've been walking this path where I've just been winning and winning and winning. All right? I won one of the major battles is, is, is paying this truck off and having the title in my name. All right? No refinance. All right? I didn't have to refine. You know, I, I could, I wanted to refinance, but I got stuck. I got stuck. So it was an option. Deal with the new truck that I didn't brought, a brand new truck with 115 miles on it, or get rid of it and go get a used truck with four or 500,000 on it and expect to try to get some time at it. That's my journey. All right? And right now, this trucking stuff right now, guys say, oh, you should be running, you should run, 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 run. I'm not going to run, man. I ran, ran, ran when I paid this truck off. All right? So right now, it's real simple, real simple, son, real simple. All right, it's real simple right now. Three loads a week, maybe four, maybe two. I just got off for two weeks, not running at all, at home. All right, it can be done. So for those women and the men out there that got young children or something like that, it can be done. You can still spend time with your family. All right, you don't have to be out here sleeping in your truck three, four weeks. You don't have to do it. If you're on your own authority, you go home when you want, stay as long as you want. Just make sure the bills are paid. Make sure the family's straight. That's all. That's it. Get you another side hustle. Something like that. But yo, I gotta end this video, but yo, uh, I'll holla at y'all. Peace.